As we mentioned earlier, it is a fantastic day to get outside and enjoy the sunshine and the warmer temperatures. Well, you want to get the kids out today too because things will once again be changing. What a great live shot of our beautiful city. KDK meteorologist Mary Hours is with us again to tell us more about what we should be aware of later on this week. And this week is kind of interesting. We're all over the place, Mary. We are. And you know, last Wednesday we had something very similar. We were in the 50s. It was windy and we're actually going to have another warm day tomorrow, but it's going to be a wet one. So 54 degrees is where we're sitting at right now, and we're going to make it a couple degrees warmer than that. The only thing those winds are ramping up. So we're going to have some gusts today picking up at about 30 miles per hour, but we're also so going to be seeing temperatures overnight staying in the 40s. So look how big this temperature difference is. We are warmer by 25 to even 30 degrees. So currently we're at 46 Franklin, a little cooler for areas north, but 55 in Washington already nearing 60 degrees in Morgantown and sunny in Indiana rated right 50. Now the big thing we want to watch out for tomorrow morning starting at 10 o'clock. There's a flood at watch in place and that is for areas north. So Beaver Butler Lawrence counties right along I 80 because we are going to be dealing with some heavy Heavy rain through the day tomorrow and even through early Friday. We're going to see that switching over to a little bit of some snow showers, but all in all, we are quiet right now. No precipitation to worry about and really throughout today. The only thing we need to worry about are these warm temperatures and to get out and enjoy it, but we are on first alert for tomorrow and Friday. The biggest impacts it's going to be that heavy rain, especially tomorrow evening as you're heading home, your evening commute and then by Friday temperatures are going to drop. We're going to see a wintry mix. And then we're looking at the potential for flooding even through early Friday morning. So the big concern again, we're still at a low risk for flooding in the Pittsburgh region because we're looking at that flood watch for areas to the north and also to the west. But areas are going to be dealing with over an inch of rainfall potentially and looking at future cast timing it out for you. These little yellow and orange spots you're seeing that is heavy to moderate rainfall and this is going to last all the way through the afternoon for your evening commute. And once this line moves through, it could even produce some rumbles of thunder. Now by nine o'clock, we're starting to see a little bit of a mix for areas to the northwest where you see that pink. So some icing is possible north and then we'll see these switching over to a few very light snow showers, but minimal snow accumulation along with this. So that's not really a concern. It's the flooding due to ice jams and over an inch of rainfall projected as we head throughout early Friday morning. So today, 58 degrees, mostly cloudy. Still going to be a bit windy with some gusts about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Tonight's actually going to stay mild in the upper 40s and then we make it to the 60s once again tomorrow. But just keep in mind, be on alert for Thursday and Friday. We're going to take you hour by hour so you can plan your day and we can keep you safe, especially if you're in those flood prone areas. 60s tomorrow, but you'll need the umbrella all through the day and even Friday as temperatures are right around that freezing mark. Just watch for some slick spots. So low temperatures get back to the 20s and then we're seeing a few scattered snow showers once again for Saturday. Temperatures will stay into the mid 30s, but check out the end of the weekend. We're back near 50, plenty of sunshine, mid 50s on Monday, even more sunshine and there's those 60s returning again on Tuesday with a chance for rain showers.